What's happening all my YouTube peeps? Thanks for tuning back into the channel right here with me, Kyle the Rust Belt Mechanic, and guest here is Captain Ron. What's up? We've got a couple of questions that we're gonna be answering for you guys today. One of the biggest ones that we've received question-wise on the channel is keeping track of your flat rate hours. I know I kind of introduced it on one of my other videos on how we keep track of our flat rate hours on Google Documents, so I employed the help of Captain Ron to do some uh, hands-on training for you guys, showing how that you guys can set up your Google Documents, Google Sheets to be able to track all your flat rate hours, plus a nice introduction for Captain and Ron's channel that you guys definitely need to go check out. Check out this one. Okay guys, so here's how you go about setting up your flat rate form and spreadsheet to keep track of your flat rate hours. Uh, if you don't have a, Google, a Gmail account, um, what you can do is you can go sign up for one for free. Even if you don't even decide to use the email address, get one. It's always good to have a backup email in case you need it. But that will also give you access to Google Drive. Google Drive is just cloud-based storage that allows you to store pictures, videos, uh, documents, whatever it is you guys might need, um, you get 15 gigs for free. So you can actually save whatever you want. It's always good to have some sort of backup for some of your more important documents. So you're going to have plenty of room up there to throw whatever you need up there and also keep track of your flat rate hours. So you guys can all already see I've got my Gmail, excuse me, my Google Drive already up and going. Um, Ignore all these files because obviously you're not going to have files like this. Uh, this is my personal drive. So uh, you can see I have my upcoming turtle tattoos here, JRC. That's all about you. Um, but uh, yeah, so to make your Google Drive file that you're going to need, you're going to first click on New. And it's going to give you some options. This is what you guys can explore these options later. But getting to the meat and potatoes of this, we're just going to go straight to it. So you're going to go down to More. And you're going to go to Google Forms. It's going to give you a little arrow here to where you can pick from a blank form or from a template. We're just going to pick blank form because we want to make it what we want to make it. So clicking on that brings up another page. So what we're going to do is we're going to title this form as Flat Rate Hours. And congratulations, you're done with your first step. So the first thing you want to do is you want to keep track of dates. So we're going to put in here... Just type in date. When you do so, it automatically recognizes that you're wanting to keep track of a date. So it automatically configures it for month, day, and year. Um, what you're going to want to do also is there's a little button right here that says required. You're going to want to make sure you toggle that on. And all of your questions that you're going to do, you want to make sure they're toggled on. Because you don't want to submit a form without having all the information in there that just protects you from giving a form with incomplete information and then you're backtracking trying to figure out what it is so wherever you see this required toggle make sure you turn it on so we've got our first uh, question of our form done so we're going to hit the little plus arrow which says add question and we're going to drop down to number two the second one um, is going to be your um, your order number. So we're going to type in order, oops, O-R-D-E-R, -E order number. And we can leave that as a short text answer because that's just going to be a number. So we don't really care about any other formatting for that. There's different things you can pick from, but what we really want is just short answer. So again, click your required and click your question. <clears throat> Third thing you're going to do is going to be what car you were working on so we can put in say year model and customer 
So the way I have mine set up and the way Kyle has his set up is that we'll put in what year the vehicle is, what model the vehicle is, and typically the last name of the customer. Again, we're going to keep that as short answer because we're just going to put in some small short text, hit that required button, and hit add question. Fourth question you're going to do is going to be work performed. Work performed. Now, this one didn't automatically generate what kind of we want. It gave us a multiple choice. We're not going to use multiple choice because there's always going to be some sort of variant in the work that you're going to do. So again, go back up and pick short answer. So we have a short answer box. Hit that required button and hit the next question. And last but not last but not least, flat rate hours. And please <laughs> disregard my bad typing. So flat rate hours, again, another short text answer. Um, it's giving us some variables here, but we're just going to ignore those. Don't add anything. Don't change anything down there. Just hit that required button. And that's pretty much it. Now, you do have the option to put in some other... Um, some other forms, or not forms, your, um, some other choices here if you want to do more. So like, for example, you do have the option with the multiple choice button. Um, say you want to do a flat rate form for multiple people. Um, say you have you and three other people who want to be able to use this form, have one spreadsheet, but you guys want to be able to designate which, which jobs are yours. You have the option to make radio buttons in a multiple choice for your own tech name or tech ID number, um, which you could then sort in the spreadsheet later on down the road. But nine times out of 10, most people are just going to be using this for their own personal use. So again, it's an option, but not one that's really necessarily needed. So once we get this required button done, we look up here in the corner and it says all changes saved in drive it automatically updates for you. So you don't have to worry about continuously hitting save. It'll do it for you. Um, go ahead and title this. If you just click up here where it said untitled form, it'll automatically pull whatever you name this to that. So we've already got that changed. You can make it a, click the star if you want to make sure it's a favorite file. That way you can find it easier. But again, not really necessary. So once we get all this done <clears throat> and you get everything set up the way you want, you're going to come up here to the top right, and there's a little eyeball icon right here. This is Preview. Click on that. It's going to open up another tab, and here is your form. So, now you have that form, and what you're going to do is you're going to come up here, depending on what browser you're using, you can bookmark this, you can favorite it, you can put a link on your desktop. So, if you were to, let's see if I can do this. So, if I pull my window down, so if I click on this little lock icon right here, click and drag out to my desktop, it will actually leave me an icon out here. So if I double click this icon, it will open up this page we have saved right here. So going back to full screen, we're going to go back to our original uh, tab where we were making all of our changes and we're going to click on responses. We don't have any responses yet because we haven't filled out that form. But there's one key icon on here that we need, and that's a little, little green icon right here that says Open Spreadsheet. So if you hold over it, it says, excuse me, Create Spreadsheet. So if we click on that, it's going to give us a window that says, what do we want to do? We're just going to create a new spreadsheet, leave it named Flat Rate Hours Responses, and we're going to hit Create. So it's going to take a few seconds, link it to the spreadsheet, and now we have a spreadsheet with timestamp, which means when that input or when that form was filled out, the date of what we put in for date, order number, year make and model, work performed, and flat rate hours. So if we come back over to our form, and let's say we do, uh, we did a job today, which is 01-13-2019. Order number was order, I don't know, 343655. Why not? What we worked on, eh, we worked on a 2013, uh, I don't know, charger. And it was for Richardson. Why not? Work performed, eh, we did a oil change, rotate, and I don't know, wiper blades. 
And then whatever your flat rate hours for that. Like for, for example, for us, a oil change is four tenths, a rotate is four tenths, and wiper blades will be two tenths. So that's four, eight, nine, ten. So that's one full hour of work. Once you get all your stuff put in, you hit submit, and it says, hey, your response has been recorded. And you can just leave this window up so that next time we need to put in a job, you just hit submit other response, and it takes you right back to that page. Or if you close it out, you've got your handy little link up here. You can go right back into it. So once we have that done, we can go over to our spreadsheet. And as you can see, we have all the information we just put in. So one other thing that I like doing as well is up here in, let's say, G1 or H1. It doesn't really matter. Um, this being Excel, essentially, you can type in formulas to calculate whatever you want. So I like to calculate my, I like to keep a running total of my hours. So I'm going to show you a formula you can put in. You may have to modify it from week to week, but you shouldn't really have to do too much. So it is equals sum, sum, open parentheses, and then you can take your mouse and you can just drag what f uh, cells you want it to do. Hit enter, and now it puts a one because that's all the hours we have in here. So if I come back over here and do 01132019, uh, order number, whatever, year, 19, charger, blob, work performed, uh, tune up, flight rate hours, we got three hours for that tune up, why not? So put in that one and we're gonna put in one more. 01, oops, 13, 2019, order number, whatever, that was a, I don't know, 15 compass and say the name is Gregor, why not? And we did another LOF, rotate and uh, battery. And we got paid for a 1.3 hours for that, why not? So once we get a running total of stuff going, It'll keep all that information for us right here. But as you can see in this cell here, it's totaling up all your hours for you. So that way you don't have to go through and add it all up yourself. It will do the work for you. And then at the end of the week, when you guys get your time slips, all your flagged hours, you guys can look through and be like, yep, that hour right there matches up with what my total is. And if it doesn't, then you can go back through and start looking at what your hours are, see where your discrepancies are. Um, once you're done with checking all your hours for the previous week. Clearing all these out is just as simple as selecting, whoops, don't that, um, selecting what you want to get rid of. So the way I usually do it is I'll click over here, I'll hold shift, and I will pick another cell, and then just hit the delete key, and they're gone. Um, you may have to right click and just say delete rows, because a lot of times what will happen is when you do another submission, it will actually put it in down here. So then you have to delete all these blank rows up here. It'll take a little get you, getting used to, but it's not too terribly bad. It'll take you about 30 seconds once you get the hang of it. So that in a nutshell is how you guys go about setting up your flat rate time um, form and spreadsheet. If you guys have any questions about it, you can let Rust Belt know, or you can get a hold of me at my, on my channel, and I'll be happy to answer any questions that you guys might have um, towards this spreadsheet. So I'm going to kick it back over to Rust Belt, and we'll see you in a few. Well, what do we tell you guys? That really is not that hard of a process to keep track of these things. Captain Ron's really good at what he does, and helping to explain that to you was something that he really wanted to do and it's a nice intro and lead into his channel so make sure you go and check out captain ron's channel i will put a link above and down in the description below for you guys to check that out uh captain ron what kind of things are you going to be doing on your channel uh my channel is pretty much going to be a kind of an intro to a technician channel um with me being in school and me not having a whole lot of um you know, automotive background to start with. Um, I thought it would be a good for, I know Kyle's had a lot of people asking, you know, hey, I'm a guy who's wanting to get into the field of doing 
uh, automotive work what you know what do I need what can I do all this other stuff so I'm gonna put out a series starting off of just general basic automotive stuff how to do oil change properly how to do tire rotation properly um, those might go together but uh, just other things like how to actually you know dismount and mount rims all that other stuff um, I'm also gonna be doing a, a updated toolbox tour of my toolbox so those of you who have been asking for those stay tuned for that we'll have that coming soon Awesome. Thanks, Captain Ron. Like I said, go check him out. We appreciate everything you guys have been doing for the channel. Make sure you stay up to date. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell notification so you get notified when I come out with new awesome content for you guys to enjoy. I appreciate it, guys. Thanks, and you guys stay awesome.